Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Matt. Today, we're talking about the Yeezy Boost 350 V3 and kind of every other Yeezy sneaker releasing this year. Let's hop into the video. So as of today, Yeezy Mafia just leaked out the Yeezy Boost 350 V3 Alien, and honestly, I'm disappointed. Now, before we talk about the V3 too much, I want to talk about kind of why I've been hoping for the V3 to kind of be the resurgence for me with the Yeezy brand. I think it has to go back to the V2 even, and if you look at how many colorways that they've released, I think it's going on like the third year now of the 350 V2 being a thing. And I remember my first 350 being part of the Black Friday collection. I didn't even know that it was super hyped up at the time. I actually picked them up off the confirmed app, and for me, it was a big win. And it honestly kind of shocked me that I got it. I got the black and green pair. At the time, I didn't even really know what sneaker resale was. I just knew that you could buy them and sell them for more. So I picked up that pair. I'd always wanted a pair of regular belugas, and so the only really other pairs besides that I picked up were the creams that immediately I flipped. Like, I think I got like four pairs of them. Like It was such an easy cop back in the day because it just felt like not many people wanted them or... I don't know, it's just super easy to cop. And then the ones that I caught for myself, the first pairs actually were the Beluga 2.0s. And I'd worn them for a while, but I think I just reached a point where I outgrew the V2. I felt like the only people really wearing them for me were like younger high school freshmen. And I don't have anything against the V2. I think it's a great silhouette. But just for me personally, I just outgrew it. I actually did pick up a pair of the Moves because I actually really loved the color blocking on this. This is before the Vontas had released, and if I had to pick anything now, it'd probably be the Vontas over these. But since I have these, I don't buy another 700. So when a Wave Runners first released, I was honestly tempted to pick them up. They were, I knew they were sitting even for pre-sale because not many people wanted them. Now, if you look at back, there's I think been four releases of them technically. I think it's like the pre-release, the real release, the re-release, and I think now the re-re-release. I think I have that right. And really the 700s after the Vontas really don't do anything for me. I don't know why that they keep creating more and more 700s that just sit on shelves. Like the Geodes, not that great. They're all right. Then every other, I don't even remember all of them because there's so many that have come out. And then they're like making a V2 of one that was sitting on shelves. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. Really the only 700s worth buying for me are the Moves, the Wave Runners, the Vontas, and the Statics. Everything else, yeah, I think the geodes are the only ones I could kind of give a pass to, but other than that, nothing really intrigued me. And so really, I thought the V3 was honestly going to be the resurrection for me with the Yeezy brand, kind of getting back into Yeezys, and mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'll have it up on screen right now, but that's a no-go for me. Mind you, this could be exactly like the Wave Runners, where when they were shown off, everybody hated them. I think I saw like one person that liked them, and it's looking very similar today with the v3s is that like most people are like uh, uh even to me like when i first saw them i thought they looked like the nike four percent sneaker that they released i think i forget the actual name i just know it's the four percent and for me to compare yeezy to that it's kind of like when people were comparing the roshi to the yeezy 350 the original and that one even had more differences than that but this one was like super similar silhouette but really the only differentiating factors is one's made by adidas and one's made by nike and one's a lot crazier than the other one. But yeah, I think it's just something I want to talk about was the 350 V3 now being announced. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? For me personally, I think the only Yeezys that I'm really excited for this year are the 451s. The 500s I've never been a fan of. I only have a size 13 foot. I'm going to look like a freaking elephant wearing those shoes. Why don't buy any of the Jordan, I believe, 13s that just kind of look like elephant feet on the side, like... That's an, I've size 13 feet. I'm not going to be putting that on my feet and looking like a literal elephant walking around. Like, mm -mm. The 500 has never been a go for me. And then they keep releasing like a different shade. It doesn't make any sense. The only one that's been any different is the black model. And an easy basketball one, I actually think looks really cool. But for me, it's just, meh. I feel like the Prime Knit's cool. I feel like you could make some really cool colorways with that. I think the color blocking is kind of weird for me. It doesn't really make too much sense, but I think I'd have to definitely see that one in person. I actually really liked them when Kanye was wearing them, but I don't know if that's just hype getting to me or if I really actually like it. And I know I made that video about Yeezy Boost in 2019. Are Yeezys dead? And honestly, it's coming closer and closer to a point where I'm like, yeah, like pretty much all of them. The V3 so far 
isn't looking that great. The V2s are kind of dying. Although the last releases actually have been good. The Lundmarks I didn't even think were bad and they're not even reselling. Although Yeezy Day, complete flop. Complete flop. It was like you had no chance for anything that released. I think I got into cart once for the geodes and I'm like, why would I pay $300 for this when I go on StockX right now and buy for $220? absolutely no sense right now in the land of Yeezy before anything else the only Yeezy I actually own right now is a 700 I don't own any other Yeezy right now and I don't I kind of like it that way but it'd be kind of cool to get by another Yeezy I feel like I don't know I don't know. love to hear you guys thoughts are in the comments below are Yeezy's dead is 700 just the only one that's dead and not reselling is 500 worth it I feel like I don't know man I don't know. I don't not. I might make another video about the state of the sneaker industry right now because I feel like both Nike and Adidas are kind of just playing off the hype at this point. If you look at Nike with Virgil, pretty much everything is just a different color of something that they've already made. Where it's like the 10 collection I thought was amazing. I thought every shoe was perfect. And then everything kind of after that seemed really lazy. It was just like, let's just make this black and white. Done. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts of this in the comments below. Are Yeezys dead? Are you going to be picking up any Yeezys? Is the 500 interesting you? Is the 700 interesting you? Please don't let a 700 interest you unless it's actually a good colorway. Is the Yeezy Basketball 451 or even the V3 doing it for you? For me personally, the only one that's doing it for me is the 451, but I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments below. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.